Hello everyone, I'm Monsia Mokalavar, and thank you for joining me here in the start of a new campaign, of course, using or playing with the La Resistance DLC. And, as you can tell by the thumbnail, the title, we're going to be playing as a certain nation, a certain blue, white, red nation. However, let's establish some game rules. So, right now it doesn't look like we have anything on, but let me load a preset. Weird France Run. Now, I'll let the US go random. Uh, just a few things. I wanted Germany to go monarchy, but now that I'm thinking it, just go fascist Germany. That sounds like a lot of fun. Soviet Union's gonna be the same, Japan's gonna be the same, Italy's gonna go random. I'm gonna play as France, of course. Poland, I want there to be a strong fascist presence in Europe, so Poland's gonna go fascist. But then again, Australia's gonna go fascist. Canada's gonna be kind of default. Uh, let's go with random. South Africa's going communist, New Zealand's going fascist, so down under and New Zealand. The end's actually going fascist. India's going to be random. I want Hungary to reform the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Romania's going to go communist. Yugoslavia's going to go historical. Czechs, you can, you know, read what's on screen right now anyways. And, uh, Britain go with the fascists? You know what? No. I want them to empower the King's Party. I want me to be a monarchy in the end versus the British, who will be a monarchy, hopefully by the end of this campaign as well. Mexico is going to have a good time. The Netherlands is going to bring back their own monarchy. And Portugal will go random, as well as Spain. Uh, you know what? Let's not do it random. Let's go with monarchists. I want there to be a ton of monarchies in Europe. Or at least as many as we can possibly get. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I have no idea. This is the first time I'm playing France in quite a while, really. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Because I have not tried this before. I've played as France before, but not with the La Resistance DLC. And, of course, naturally, we only have three research slots, which hurts me so much. Why do we only have three research slots? However, I'm going to do this a little differently than normal. Oh, I don't want to forget. Hello there, Scott Plains. Um, you know what? Let's, let's, let's grab one of those. Let's grab one of those. I haven't used those yet. All right, so, like any good campaign, you want to start building off some good stuff right there. Yeah, a lot of civilian factories. We're going to immediately go, though, for an agency... I'm going to keep that name for now. If you have a better name in the comments below, you know, let me know. Uh, and do we want a title or some sort of insignia? Mm, yeah, I've got you something like that. Thank you. Cool. Factories. What do we have? We need guns, sport equipment, artillery, light tanks, motorized. That's all great stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at this garbage. Oh my goodness. Why must you be created? You know what? Just all come to Brittany. This isn't the proper one I want you to come to Brittany to. Uh, my apologies, guys. This always takes a little bit of time. Maybe I should have done this off screen. Or should have done this before I started up this campaign. But then again, I did want to show you guys what the world will probably look like before it become, becomes or it sets itself on fire. Good, good, good. I really don't care. You know what? Screw it. I really don't care what everyone else does. I'm just going to pull them all together eventually in the end. Anyways... But we must settle on a national focus. So, ah, uh, look at that. Nice, good old focus tree. Well, it's always, from what I can see, it looks pretty good. Until you get to the uh, <coughs> air wing. And maybe a little bit of the naval wing. The naval wing looks, air, this part of the tree looks okay. This just looks sad. This looks so sad. You look at the everything to the left of it. It looks big. It looks nice. Then you come over here and it's like, ah. Oh, what? We, did, we didn't even try that much. Anyways, revive the national bloc. <clears throat> the political landscape is growing more and more radical by the day. The left whispers of making common cause with the communists. What is needed now is strong, stable leadership. And I do want to go with the Council of Ramboulet. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And we're going to need some planes. <clears throat> oh, we got, oh, we got that stuff too. Um, close air support I'm not really going to plan on using too much. Do I have fighters yeah that's fine use fighters at least get one thing of fighters on there and what do i want to do fighters oh we're gonna need more infantry equipment let's make a little bit more infantry equipment artillery okay artillery so what divisions do we have division de m three not too bad colonial they're the exact same thing huh uh some of these guys that's not too bad oh we have motorized recon companies that's very good and that looks okay let's see do that do that just make me a couple of these guys, six divisions for now. Uh, like how I normally play, I usually, when I play as France, 
I completely abandoned Africa, Southeast Asia. I really don't care about those areas. Syria, pfft, no one cares. Uh, but let us... We're almost ready to start the game. Almost. We're super close. I'm going to go ahead and shove everyone together because this is how I like to do my navies. Hey, everyone come to Brittany. And then combine. Everyone. There you go. Very nice. Everyone come there. Assign Admiral... At Admiral Nord. Uh, positioning... Oh, that's good enough for me. Cool. Planes. Where are the plane boys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good enough for me. Everyone come to Paris. Just kidding. You're all getting deleted. <laughs> Let's go and grab that. Tactical bombers. I'm definitely going to use a lot of tactical bombers. I'm going to use a lot of fighters. Other than that, naval bombers will be important, but we don't need to deploy them just yet. Oh, actually, before I do that, when you're ready, train. Good. Very good. Oh, fuel. Well, we're moving all our ships around, which is okay. We're creating an agency, which, to a degree, at the time of this recording, I'm still learning how to use properly, but I have, do have a little bit of experience. Not a lot, not a lot, but a little bit of experience. Oh, we're going to need a lot of guns. Oh my goodness, we're going to need a lot of guns. Now, with this campaign, early on especially, I want to use... A few different things. I want to try to use more anti-tank, because we'll probably be fighting Germany eventually. I want to try using anti-air, because AI actually likes using a lot of anti-air. You guys are 18 combat width, three down there. You guys are militia divisions? Oh, more like coast guards, which is fine. Uh, you all are 18 combat width, which is still good. And then we have an assortment of other stuff. Four divisions, 24 combat with guys here. Interesting. I can throw you over there. Ooh, horses. Horses can be very, very useful. Very, very useful. Uh, ooh! Dome Bureau. Love it. Uh, ooh, we do have motorized as well. That's not too bad. I'm going to pull you guys off. Oh, wait. No, pull you off. Horses, I'm going to pull you off as well. There you go. Because this is the more of the mobile army. Oh, hold on. I don't like the look of this. Oh, most of you guys are just... Oh, you're the garbage ones. I don't like that. This is better. This is definitely better. You know what? I don't want to get rid of you. But I'm going to get rid of two of you. So we can have a little more stockpile of tanks. Because I'm not making any tanks whatsoever. Okay, more intelligent stuff. Alright, what do we want to do? Probably form a department. That'd probably be a good idea. And we're getting a spy in about... Uh, three, a little more than three weeks. Good. Now, how am I going to do this? I'm going to completely abandon Southeast Asia. Abandon Syria. Abandon that area. So I really want to focus on Northern Africa, because I think that would be pretty important. As well as the mainland. So, we got our main tank guy here. Does someone go with tanks? Alphonse Juin? Oh, Philippe. Let's go with Alphonse. Uh, Mr. Motorize. No, there's not a lot of options here. We get more attack. Division recovery rate goes down. Charles de Gaulle. Never heard of you before. Just kidding. Just kidding. Cool. Infantry, you guys are okay. You're going to be the Coast Guard divisions of the group. So I'm actually going to pull you down here. Thank you. I can give you the worst general. Sorry. Just, it's the way it has to be. Um, chance to get wounded in combat. You're pretty good. You're better on defense. Let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and deploy them in certain different areas. Ooh, if I, uh, at least defend the mainland coast. Probably. That's probably more important. I'm thinking not doing North Africa because that means I have to kill off Italy's ships. Probably Germany's ships. That's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. I guess for now it'll be okay though. And Casablanca. Don't forget that area. Uh, that's good enough. Oh, a spy. So, Jules, oh, we got a guy with oh, brass knuckles. Oh, that's a girl. Well, maybe he's a girl. Nathalie. Natalie. What is that? Well-groomed. Oh, I like well-groomed people. Jeanne, a linguist. Hmm. Nice. Oh, we got this. An infiltrator. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what do we want to do with our operative? That's a good question to ask. I don't know. Uh, let's just go with a linguist. Oh, we formed the Departement. Oh. Oops. Uh, let's see what else we want. Commando training. Localized training centers. Enemy nation 
nationality recruit chance, occupied friendly nationality recruit chance, operative recruit choices, unlocks local agent recruitment. Hmm. Government cipher scrolls, radio interception, decryption. Oh, let's do this one next. And what do we want to do? No ciphers being decrypted. Uh, just do Germany. Why not? I know it's not going to be worth it, but whatever. Oh, and before we move on too far, I want to keep an eye on this. The compliance, the resistance to me. Let's see. Capped from negative 10%. I like that. Uh, before we move too far, just double check. Do you have any resistance down here? I don't want to deal with... <laughs> Things going on down here. Ooh, revive the nationalist bloc. Remilitarization of the Rhineland. Several German divisions recently advanced into the Rhineland, marking the first time since the end of the Great War uh, that Germany has positioned forces west of the, of the Rhine. It is a clear violation of the Versailles Treaty, under which Germany is forbidden from militarizing the region. Unless we issue an ultimatum demanding their withdrawal, the treaty will not be forced. Act of war, I could rally the British to our sides. Start a civil war now. Uh, just a diplomatic protest. That would be good enough for us. Also, before we get too far down here, we could begin rearmament, but we're locked behind that. We need oh, we need one percent more stability. Uh, this stuff for industry stuff. It's kind of industrial stuff. More compliance. I like that. I want that focus or research slot. I mean, I want these research slots, but it's so far down there. I really want to focus more on making myself a monarchy. We can ban communism, which is actually pretty good for us. Let's see. Laissez-faire. Laissez-faire. Agricultural production. I like that. Our economy will become more efficient after a period of about two years. Protect the rights of man. Economic devolution. Promote entrepreneurship. Freedom front. Oh. Huh. Stimu stimulate the dynamic market. Hmm, sounds like fun. I want to ban communism. It sounds like we should do that really early on. Just in case, let's do that. So, well, it is inconceivable that anyone could seriously want to visit the chaos and bloodshed of a communist revolution upon their own fatherland. It appears that there are some among us who would just do that. We cannot allow them to conspire against the state any longer. The harshest measures must be taken. And we remove political violence, actually. Oh, we part of the Land and Naval Treaty. It's actually probably a good idea to look at all this stuff first. Victors of the Great War, which hurts a little bit. Disjointed government, which is... Holy crud, that's bad. Predicted by the Maginot Line. Full employment! You get less population because of that? Huh. Alright, whatever. Uh, political violence. Communist and far-right extreme leagues, or st extremist leagues, are always ready to resort to violence to advance their political cause. Uh, and, of course, we have an inefficient economy, of course. Of course. Welcome to France. Cool. What else about these guys do I need to know? Do we need to know? Electronic stuff? Good. So you're mobile... I really don't care for the you guys too much. Can I just convert you to infantry? I might just... Yeah, just, just do that for now. This, that's probably a bad idea. And... Strength compliance. It barely gr grows. Barely growing. Low stability... Oh, that doesn't help me. We got good compliance, though. Um, but hey, at least our army's okay. So, you guys are going to be stationed right there on that line. Led by the good, the relatively not super old, Henri Giraud. Giraud. Gerard. Oh, it's kind of weird seeing this stuff. Seeing the traits, because I'm so used to Old World Blues special stuff. Oh, government cipher school. Radio interception. Training centers. I kind of want that. Oh, but passive defense could be good. Let's do this one first. Because why not? Oh, we're defending ourselves. I want to say that's good, but I want to see what Germany's up to. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to go into anyone else's land to spy on them just yet because, like, if you saw me play Portugal, was it? I think it might have been Portugal. I actually had one of my spies get captured, and I, I couldn't do anything until I had another spy, so I don't want to risk that. That doesn't seem too good to me. And you guys come down here. Over time, we'll make enough divisions that I can help guard Northern, North Africa from our enemies. We're going to need so much, so many guns. Holy crud. Jean de la Tre de... Whatever your name is. Ooh, more reconnaissance. Good. Actually, do you guys even have recon on your things? No, you don't. Huh. These guys will be pretty good, hopefully. At least good enough. You guys guard against the Belgians. Ooh, good defense. Max entrenchment for promotion costs. It's a shame that you're an old guard, though. You're all old guards. Jesus. 
Oh, my friends. Oh, Nyoding Defender. That's not bad. I don't mind throwing that on, actually, if you're going to be not great. Decisions. Withdraw from the na naval treaties. Uh, that stuff is okay. Oh, grow rubber plants in Madagascar. I like that. Realize European unity. Who cares about... You know what? We can unite Europe easily. Just take everyone else over. Easy. Easy. Awesome. Alphonse Georges. Oh, no. I want this guy because he's got level 4 defense. Very nice. Maurice Gamelon. Um, this will safeguard peace better than any super battleship. So, communists, commies in government. The communist movement in France, fueled by a broad dissatisfaction among the working class and radical trends among academics, has grown large enough to lead the formation of several parties. After one of these has gained considerable support in the current election, politicians and Partai Radical have started debating whether or not to seek their support in forming a government. Although they consider our democratic institutions to be little more than a bourgeois tyranny, they seem eager to make the changes they want to see through cooperating with the government rather than overthrowing it. Rather reform than revolution, a broad coalition of democratic parties is preferable. I can raise my democratic support and hurt my stability, which I don't want to do. You know what? I'm going to go for more communism. You know why? Because we're going to ban it as soon as we can. I'm already going to lose 5% stability. We might as well do that. The commies will have no place once we ban it. Hmm. Love it. Localized training centers. Great. Next up. Invisible ink. Uh, I could steal stuff. That's okay. Army department. Uh, pa passive defense might be good. I'm going to go with passive defense just because I don't trust anyone. I really do not trust anyone around us. So, so you guys are going to reinforce the empire. Uh, you went with a change, of course, and they'll eventually do the king's partai. That seems like fun. What am I using? Oh, is my... Are the airplanes... Oh, you guys are still trying to... Tr oh, you're trying to train. Wow, we have, like, no fuel. Holy crud. Alright, so it's time to talk about <clears throat> our shippies. So, like normal, this is kind of a pain. Ah, oh, we just banned communism. Easy. Except for subs. Subs are easy to make. Or easy to uh, change out. So, look at this. Positioning. Chance to receive critical hit. Do we have a Seawolf? We don't have a Seawolf. Why? Ooh, enemy retreat chance. I don't like that. More Navy organization. I really don't like this guy. Spotting chance is good. Um, We'll do Admiral here. Do you have upgrades, actually? Oh, he's a lone wolf. Conce oh, concealment. Oh, my God. Yes, I want that. But anyways, so we banned communism. Great thing we can do. But let us utilize the leagues. It is a sad fact that political violence has become commonplace in France. If the country is to survive the threat of communist revolution, first of all, we ban it, but then we must not shy away from the help of people who can and will meet the communist thugs in the street if it comes to that. Ah, oh, yes. Ooh, look at that. Another destroyer. A worthless level one destroyer. Well, they're not worthless. They're just not that good. Cool. Give me a battleship and give me two heavy cruisers. We need... Oh god, this looks like an outdated fleet already. Oh, we don't have the. Oh my god, we have too many destroyers in my mind. This is disgusting. Um, two, three. Give me three heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and we're gonna need ten destroyers. Let's make it eleven. All right, so we're starting to run out of capital ships, which is fine. Take the carrier as well. Get one more of those, and we need eleven of that. And I think we have barely enough to cover everything here. That is not bad. Even though this is really... Yeah, this is okay. It's okay. You know, that's what I can say about it. It's okay. Now, the only thing that's using fuel is air. Oh, civilian economy is actually... Oh, my God. What the heck? The What the heck is this? Create the North American section. Oh, local recruitment. Local oh, Asian recruitment. Oh, passive defense. This costs political power and factories. Oh, Asian stuff. Recruit in Luxembourg. I believe an open operative slot. It's harder to detect when infiltrating and operating in Luxembourg. I definitely want one in Germany, though. Definitely want one. Yeah, I definitely want to recruit one of those guys there. Um, looks like fun. Anything else? So, who are the ministers that we can take? Confirm Eastern commitments. Leon Blum. Uh, protest is into violence. Humble appeaser. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, the planes. Construction. Ooh, that looks good. 
reinforce rate sounds pretty good as well. Let's get some production efficiency cap. Oh, we only have three research slots. Why? Why must you hurt me so? Grow rubber. Good. Realize European unity. How much longer must we wait? We've got one. Take forever to decrypt, which is fine with me. I, I really don't care about that too much. Oh, I should have sent volunteers potentially to uh, Ethiopia. Are we doing anything here? Passive defense. Oh, no. Oh, we were. Uh-oh. That's okay. Keep building stuff up. We'll be fine. I will probably start making some military factories sooner rather than later. That's probably good. Activity level. Low. No to little subversive activity. Huh. Oh, we actually have ten. Yeah, I mean, I could. North American, South American. Indian section. I think that can wait. Anti-communist raids. Well, our stability should technically go up because our popularity for democracy is going up as well because we're really trying to remove any... God dang, communist threat. Minus 0.25. Jesus Christ, that's amazing. Holy cow. Leval, you got some weird hair, man. That's okay. I won't hold it against you. And there goes Spain. S Southern Spain. You look pretty good. Can I send you volunteers? Can negotiate licenses, improve relations. Can't join your wars, unfortunately. Disbanded army, death before surrender. Prepare the Carlists insurrection. Okay, do I get a decision to help support them? I can just disable the Maginot line for Fonzies, but I'm not going to do that. Can I support them? Oh, radio interception group? Good. Psychological warfare. Well, you want to do the cheapest ones as fast as possible, I think. Economic civilian, portable radios. Root out resistance sounds like a good thing. Let's do interception groups. Oh, we're going to get another spy soon. Yay. I can't lower this at all, which really is garbo. So, leadership purges in the Union. So, we unlock the decision to rally the leagues, get more fascist support, not align, we lose a little bit more stability. Unlock decision, unleash la cagoule. Way more stability. Fascism support. Oh. I do be fully independent. Why can't I take this path? The combined total of unaligned and fascist support is over 50%. Cool. I want this anyways. The Council of Ramboule. So with a country in turmoil, the people look for a strong leader. It has become clear that the republicanism has failed the French people, and it is time for the natural rulers of France to return. But first, the groundwork must be laid for a restoration of the monarchy. Oh, yeah. Um, so we could rally the leagues, which gives us more fascism non-aligned, and unleash this guy for way less stability for more fascism. We ain't about that life. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, Gaston. I, if you see a guy named Gaston, you gotta hire him, right? You gotta be like, yeah, thumbs up. Operative slots. Oh, what is that elusive gentleman? Upgrade time goes down too. Oh, but this could be good as well. Wait, aviation. Oh, that's 250. Holy crap, that's a lot. Another Giraud. Oh, very nice, very nice. Uh, offense, 5%. Defense is 5%. 10%, 10%. Come on, man. Cool. So, oh, Simon. Recruit. Rescue operative. Costs and risk. I like that. Escape artist. Nice. Eric. Uh, as much as I love girls named Simone, Marat, as, long, as far as we know, she's a girl. Um, I'm going to go with this guy because we got a girl already. So, what do I want to do with him? I want to build an intel network. How about we go straight to Berlin? Or, you know what, actually, I want the nationalists, I want the Carlists to win. That's what we want. And they definitely don't went down that path. Contact the Union Militar Espanol Española. Can they call me in, or can they ask for help from anyone? Oh, got. That's the one thing I don't like about this new update. Yeah, it's you can scroll out, but now you can't zoom or scroll up and down. You can zoom out, in and out, but you can't scroll up and down. Ooh, no nope. compromise. Crusade against democracy. Arms modernization. Whatever. That cost actually, that actually cost political power. Anyways, uh, espionage. You can rescue other people quicker and actually it makes more sense for you to go somewhere else oh who do i want germany's gonna be a pain in the butt 
Spain is divided. You know what? Just do Wurttemberg. Why not? If this is a mistake, I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments below. Very nice. Intel network strength gain. I love it. And god dang, do we really need more fuel? This is not bueno. Keep building stuff up. You're doing great. What are we doing? Uh, operations are looking okay. What are we doing here? Um, cyber school. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. As much as I love it. It's only 1936, which is good. Can I get a decision to help out someone here? Like, I, I would love to. I want to be included in what you guys are doing. I do want more stability and more support, though. Um... Oh man, we have no, we just like killed every communist here. Holy cow. They're all gone. They're just dead. Wow. Um, France. Oh, compliance is looking pretty good. Oh, what is the garrison thing that we're using? Uh, division designer. Eh, that's okay. Um, as you can tell, I'm not really used to using this too much. It is nice that they did use garrisons that's completely off screen. Use default. Brigade Colonial. Now, from what I've looked at, you might want to include some armored cars when you want to set up your garrisons. What do we want to do next? Operative training. Wow, some of these are expensive. Holy cow. Commando training. Ooh. Blueprint stealing. Anti partisan. Diplomatic training. Interrogation techniques. Oh, yeah, let's do that. That sounds like fun. Let's see what happens. Mechanical computing. Good. That's exactly what we need. Um. Equipment, that stuff. Tanks are looking okay. Tanks are actually okay. We're on grand battle plan. I'm not going to say I'm going to get rid of this. We get more entrenchment, which is nice. More planning bonus. Defense and organization. And breakthrough. It's only 10%. I prefer a flat 10 sometimes. Sometimes not. Infiltration isn't bad. Supply consumption goes down. Plan night attack. Recon gets more recon, but then you need to actually use recon to get that recon bonus. Max planning. 10% more breakthrough again. Um, You know what? I never choose grand battle plan. Let's stay on it. Let's, let's do this. But not right now, because it takes over a thousand days to research that. Holy cow. Oh, you can tell I almost never play France. Like, because we had that penalty here. That uh, research penalty. Victors of the Great War. Oh, wow. The other things got done. Nice. Very good. Uh, disperse industry, just because I'm so used to clicking on that. Ships. Oh, this has been a while since I've, since I've actually looked at this screen and not the Old World Blues naval screen. This is so much less than Old World Blues. Holy cow. Anyways. Um, cruisers are going to be important. But. I already have that. You know what? Grab that. Grab it. I don't know if we'll actually make any. Oh, Otto assumes the Hungarian crown. Will the empire rise again? Very good, my friends. Very good. Oh, there we go. Intervention in Spain. I want that. The civil war in Spain has brought the clash between ideologies to our very doorstep. We must tread carefully lest the conflict spill in over into our own country. Oh, we can get more... Oh, my goodness, we can get more stability. Oh, it's only 35 days. It's only 35 days. I want to get a little bit involved in Spain. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Actually, maybe I should have sent my spy down to Spain. Oh, what? Royal Wedding. Oh, yeah. Portugal, you're going to get it on and remove that, uh, the hurt feelings between you and Brazil. Uh, yes, very much yes. There might be a civil war by the time we're done here in Brazil. Hmm. How much political power do we get? 0.32. That's really not good. That's really, really not good. So, you guys... Well, compared to my anarchist Spain campaign, this looks a little eh, similar-ish. I don't know. Communists influence foreign policy. Communists often consider themselves to be part of the, an international revolution, and our choice to accept them as partners in our government has drawn the attention of many of the international allies, or their international allies. Representatives of communist parties maintain close ties to nations which have abandoned our form of government in favor of a dictatorship of the proletariat. Ties which we may need to acknowledge in French foreign policy if we wish to retain their support. Um, they get a more opinion. We get 5% more. Yeah, hell, yeah. Pfft. Are you kidding me? With this national spirit? 
Let all the commies in. They'll die anyways. We'll throw them in jail or whatever. I don't know. Machine assisted decryption. Hmm. Anti-partisan stuff. I like the defense. I'm a little apprehensive to do that because I don't know what's going to go happen. That looks extremely expensive. Psychological warfare. Boost ideology. Death chance of our own operative on capture. You know what? That sounds like it's needed. And we should get another spy somewhat relatively soon. Alright, alright. Looking pretty good. Um, Dominions. Oh, the Empire's in crisis. I told them that they should re re reunite the Empire. But, uh, oh man, they just... The Dominions just had an exit. Oh boy. So that's good. Let's revive the Constitution. So, the Republican Constitution was always intended to be a stopgap measure that has been allowed to persist for far too long. Now we will rewrite it to allow a monarch to return. So for a year, we get plus 0.2 weekly stability, which honestly isn't that much. But that's okay. Oh, what is this? Inter oh, intervention in the Spanish Civil War. Allow non-military aid. We lose stability. Ban non-military aid. Allow... Arms purchases. Oh, we lose stability. Sending weapons. We lose even more stability. About a lot of volunteer work. All parties in the Spanish Civil War will gain manpower based on the relative strength of their respective ideology in France. Um, interesting. Lose stability. Well, this is while it is active, though. More war support. Allow covert intervention. Oh, yeah. I kind of want to do that. I want to see what I can do. Invite the German Reich to the Non-Intervention Committee. Um, something tells me... Interv oh, intervene on... I can intervene? Ooh. I definitely want to send volunteers, though. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I want to see what happens. Oh, that just hurt my stability. Oh, God. Um, I need to improve working conditions or something like that. Now, I'm, I really, really want to become non-aligned. We are democratic. And we're slowly becoming more and more democratic. But we're coming even... Eh, we were becoming more and more non-aligned. It takes a long time to become a monarchy. Can I send you guys volunteers? Yeah, let's get someone here. Uh, actually, you got, yeah, you guys. Four tanks. Sure, yeah, great. You guys are... S oh, well, maybe that was a bad idea with the tanks. Let's go ahead and grab... Oh, oh. Did I not do something here? Oh. No, we're still doing stuff. There's a there's a one there. Infiltrate... Oh, I can infiltrate civilian administration. That's a good chance. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much to me right now. I don't really care. Uh, trade. Oh, we're making... Z no wonder we're not, we don't have enough fuel. We got zero. Uh, I'll help out the Romanians. Give me one, and I'll take one more from Colombia. Thank you. Ah, nah, there we go. We developed suicide pills. Nothing like it. Mm, portable ra radios, invisible ink. Diplomatic training? Sure. What is that? Operatives killed by the enemy. Yeah, that's on. Whoa! Intervene on the spine of Spain. Um. There's a lot of recruitment I could be doing, I guess. A local agent becomes available if we have an open slot. I want one for Italy. I definitely want one from Italy, so let's do that next. And then I need that withdrawal from the treaty. Good, good, good. And immediately send one of you guys do this instead. Come down here. Help guard the area. Ah! Hold on. After weeks of agitation and clandestine preparations, mass strikes have broken out in several French cities. Almost immediately, armed so-called workers' defense brigades have formed, and in some cases supported by mutinous army units. Forces loyal to the government were fired upon on numerous occasions across the country, with skirmishes between revolters and loyalists uh, turning into pitched firefights. With Internal order steadily decreasing. Uh oh, steadily decreasing. The government has effectively lost control over wide swaths of the country. Um. Please tell me I'm the guys in the north. What happened to my army? Holy crow! That's a crow? Cow. Well, you know, I try to help out the nationalists. I end up in a, France. Ends up in a civil war. 
Of course. Go ahead and do that. That should be okay. Oh, Ghost Guards. Uh, throw you around here, too. Actually, you know what? Put you under there. You guys are done with your stupid orders, because you're gonna... Not... Don't guard against Switzerland. Guard right here. There you go. That was... Unexpected. Oh, now that... There's a... You know what? We had one Civil War down there. How about we have another one up here? Oh, wait. Oh, crud. There's guys up here, too. Huh. All right, well... I don't think I got the good end of the the stuff here. You guys come there. You guys form your own thingy. And I will end episode very soon. Oh, uh, you guys didn't even come to my side. Okay. Okay, whatever. I'm not angry about that. I'm not upset. Let's grab another general. I don't even care at this point. Just grab someone. So you guys are going to be around here-ish. You know what? I can really use you guys right here. You guys come over up to here as well. That would be good. Let's reorganize ourselves and uh, military factories probably sound pretty good right now. So we're going to end the episode here because we are out of time. But guys, if you enjoyed our episode, the first one, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we crush some sort of communist uprising. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.